uploaded a video around a week ago called Internet Scariest Alpha Male. And it was just a video about this guy I found on TikTok who would make like these uh, like sort of like alpha male type videos. <laughs> he would say them in like a really aggressive way. You need to join right now. If you wish to get filthy rich, you need to join so yeah, I posted that um, and uh, he responded to me. Now I just want to clarify, I have nothing against this guy. If anything, I find this guy really, really funny. So obviously, please don't send hate over to this guy. It's just unneeded. I just want to watch this reply because I watched a little bit of it and he does make some good points, but I ultimately disagree with him on a lot of things and a lot of it is, is quite funny. So we're, we're going to give it a watch. And as you can see in the thumbnail, it says, <laughs> it says beta male hates me. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Mimulus tried to cancel me. I didn't. I, I'm not. I'm not in the business of trying to cancel people. I just. I just like having a giggle. I like having a laugh. And your TikTok account, my friend. Oh, that gives me. That gives me the ultimate giggles. <laughs> Let's scroll down to the comments, and you'll see a load of comments that are just from his old account. Like they've all got the same logo, which is of his like growth Wolf academy Adam. or whatever. Took his soul. Fire emojis. Clapping. <laughs> There's also a comment from this guy going, "Bro, selling teddy bears." Yes, I am. And you, you, you can buy them now. This viral YouTuber. I've been described as a lot of things in my time, but I, a viral YouTuber, I have not. That's such a TikTok way of describing someone in it. Right, this is possibly the worst video I've ever watched on TikTok. Okay, hyperbole. All right, I mean, worst in the best way possible. I'm not backtracking here. I'm just saying worst in terms of the, like, so bad it's good. Do you know what I mean? In this video, he watches my content, uh -huh. laughs it all off, makes zero valid points and sells his teddy bear absolutely absolutely i am and do you know what i'm gonna do in this video i'm gonna sell i'm gonna sell my teddy bear again if you want to buy these these are on sale right now make sure the link is in the description it's for a limited time only once they're gone they're gone they're not coming back so, so get your memeless teddy bear today cheers buy it i need to pay child support absolutely but let's get straight into it also can i just ask why are you not wearing a t-shirt my friend why are you wearing okay so you're wearing a hoodie an ice of a clothing intended on keeping you warm but you're not wearing, I, I, you know what i'm trying to get out here why is he not just wearing a t-shirt. So he's like sort of like an Andrew Tate wannabe, but I feel as though he's maybe about a year late on that. Okay, but, uh, there's some, I'm, this is maybe just like the YouTuber in me, but when the frame rate on something is a bit off, I hate it. This is like the most nerdy thing out. The frame rate's off. I don't like it. So here, as you can see, he called me an Andrew Tate wannabe. Just to inform you, brother, I'm not a wannabe of any man other than my future so that is so fucking that is the most alpha thing i've ever heard in my life in the best way possible i don't aspire to be anyone except my future self jeez that is sick honestly no sarcasm or anything that is that is a great line i'm going to assume that he had some kind of hate towards self-improvement content I, okay i'm just gonna say is that i don't um i would go into my living room and pull out all the self-help books i have but i don't want anyone like looking into my flat seeing me in the old mask and sunglasses and stuff so i'm not i'm not gonna do that but i do enjoy you know a good old little bit of, bit of self-help content uh my favorite thing to do is watch self-help content and then never apply any of the principles in the video to my life i love doing that but no i, I do i do read a few self-help things from time to time i tell you i'll give you a good book recommendation meditations by marcus aurelius incredible book changed my perception on things which usually means people are uncomfortable about the way they are I, okay i'm just gonna say i don't think that i think even if i was like oh yeah i, I don't like because a lot of self-help stuff is just grifters and a lot of the books written nowadays are just like rehashes of things that were said in the past that they've just taken loads of little bits from other books and put them into their book. I feel as though the self-help industry is just full of people trying to take advantage of others. But that's not to say genuine self-help stuff is bad or whatever. He says, I'm pretty like sure everyone knows everyone not, knows to, fall not to fall for it. Directed at Andrew Tate's course. Yeah, I did say that. I did say that and I stand by that. He says, my course probably doesn't work. Well, yeah, I mean, I said that because you get about 30 likes on a TikTok, man. So for a little bit of context, if you didn't see my previous video, his whole thing is he posts like Joe Rogan clips onto a load of accounts. And that's like his whole business. Like, he's probably got other accounts, but that's like what he, he showed. I, I'm just going to say it's probably more than likely not legit. He proceeds to say this without any knowledge at all of what I have created. If you watch this video of him dissing me, you can clearly see that he doesn't agree with anything that I say. 
So I'm going to assume that this is a bias choice that he has made. But yeah, because there are, all right, okay, like listen, there are so many courses out there from people that just don't know what they're doing. Is it really too much of a stretch to assume this guy doesn't know what he's doing? Like, I mean, he sells them so aggressively, right? There was a TikTok where he was like, "You need to buy this now." Like to me, it just ticks every single red flag there could possibly be for selling a course. George, I recommend you do not talk on what you do not know. Here is some social proof. Okay. Of what some students in my course have achieved. Okay. 7.6K in his first month, right? And who, why, why is that down to you? And I, I, who's to say this screenshot is even legitimate? I'm not going to call him a scammer or anything. I'm not going to do that. You know what? Let the guy get his bag. If this guy wants to sell a course on how to make TikTok good and download and upload Joe Rogan clips into nice little bite-sized chunks, who's to say he can't? Let's just, I, I, I'm going to allow it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel as though something like this would be worth your money if you were going for like, you know, like a course or something. You shouldn't really be buying courses anyway unless it's from someone who is like proven in the space and not for just uploading Joe Rogan clips. What the normal person can do when it comes to like fighting, once you know you can do that, your mindset will change. Yeah, I love I love being like well wham and able to beat up other men. That is something that really boosts my ego. It makes me feel great about myself. <laughs> it's a very universally known thing that going to the gym is good for your mental health. Okay, okay, right, right, right. <laughs> so I feel as though he's gonna be like, yeah, that's contradictory. That's contradictory. No, it's not. I feel it is unfair for you, George, to make a or to form an opinion as you are not in shape. You do not. <laughs> What an image choice! What an image choice! <laughs> oh, I commend you on that, my friend. That's a great image choice. Therefore, you did not have the experience or the knowledge to speak on it. Okay, well, I mean, I do. I do. I, I, I was wham for a bit. If you look at some videos from about a year ago, I was pretty wham. Like, I, I built a lot of muscle. I had, like, a personal trainer and stuff. Like, I did get pretty big, and then I just was like, oh, fuck it, I can't be asked. And I just do, like, cardio and stuff now. But I do go to the gym regularly. I lift a few weights, but I'm not, like, proper into it now. I understand this video may have made you feel uncomfortable because it points out that you do not train. So laughing at it was maybe your only possible reaction. Or it could be I go to the gym. That could be a possible reaction which i do i do i do i don't try i don't say i train i'm not like a massive like gym head i'll go maybe like a, a once or twice a week and you know run and lift a few weights but yeah sure all right i'll, I'll give you that if, you, if you're if you're proper into training it, it'll change your mindset of course it will so here he has completely avoided the purpose of the video has been labeled and named so that you think it's an illness that cannot be fixed if you believe you have anxiety it's because you have a low probability of success oh yeah this is my favorite bit this is one of my favorite bits he's just saying words you don't have to have anxiety to be anxious about things you know what i mean there are people and myself included that just get anxious for the sake of being anxious i get anxious about having nothing to be anxious about the purpose of the video was to prove anxiety isn't a permanent illness or medical condition i mean it is a medical condition though like okay i'm gonna google is Anxiety, a medical condition. Yeah, anxiety disorders are a type of mental health condition. So it is. It, like, I, I just because, I feel so a lot of people who don't have like anxiety or depression or something will just be like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, I get sad and anxious sometimes. That means this must be the same for everyone when it's just not. It is a medical condition. It just is. <laughs> There's not much more to say about that. Especially with a low probability of success. You can change from a low probability of success to a high probability of success. What is bro waffling about? I will, however, agree that... I don't know if this is the point he was making, but I will, however, agree that you can improve, like, your anxiety by doing certain things. Exercise, if that works for you. You know, there's mental exercises you can do, therapy and stuff like that. People are labelling anxiety as an illness, so they do not have the put the effort in. <laughs> What? Oh my god. This is just like, oh, because I don't experience it in the way you do. It doesn't exist, all right? It seems to be being pushed onto our generation that anxiety is this permanent illness and condition that you have that cannot be fixed. Okay, right. I, I will agree with you that it, it can be fixed in some ways. Like, you can definitely help it, as I said, with therapy. Even stuff like self-help. That can that can help you, you know, ease that. There is a really good book called uh, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by a guy called Dale Carnegie. You should 
should give it a read if, if you have anxiety or like going to just do it just doing whatever sort of helps soothe it but yeah it is it is a medical condition i'm afraid my friends then they proceed to avoid any scary situations they cower and they hide whenever they get this feeling of anxiety which prevents them from growing this guy doesn't know what anxiety is he thinks it's just like say like i don't know you see a roller coaster and you're scared to go on it oh that that must mean you have anxiety or that you're anxious about no anxiety is something totally different if you also search up the definition of anxiety and anxious on google oh bros bros putting out the google definitions let's go so if a teenager or anyone searches up anxious and anxiety they're gonna feel anxious then they're gonna search up anxiety and think that they have this medical right. condition right what, what is bro what is what is bro waffling about once again you have completely avoided the purpose of this video i haven't I just haven't. If you're doing everything you fucking can and committing yourself entirely, then everything that happens to you, whether you think is positive or negative, is the best thing that could possibly happen. What if you die? What if what if your aspiration is to be uh, like a coal miner and you work 24/7 being a, a coal miner and then you die? What about what about then? The purpose of this video is telling people that are trying to succeed to put everything into it. And no matter what happens, no matter if you get these setbacks or these temporary failures, to keep going. Okay, you know, I will concede that I was just being hyperbolic to be funny, okay? God, I'm sorry for trying to be funny. Please don't punch me in the head. Need to join. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is my favorite one of his. Just watch this, watch this. I've probably already shown it in this video, but just watch it again. Need to join right fucking now. <laughs> Being aggressive is actually a marketing strategy. Is it now? Is it now? So like when you walk into a car dealership, they're like, buy this fucking car right now. Is that what they do? So you learn something every day, George. Yeah. Maybe you could use this to sell your teddy bears. Oh yeah, good idea. Buy a fucking teddy bear. Do it now. I don't know why I hit my camera with it. That was silly. That could have broken my camera. Just buy my, buy my, um, Buy my Mimulus plush, please. It'll be like having a little me in, in your house. And who doesn't want that? Being aggressive grabs immediate attention and creates a sense of urgency. No, it doesn't. What's going, you need to do this right fucking now. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Otherwise, for every brand new, I'd be going, buy HelloFresh right fucking now. <laughs> he showed a stock image of a man and a woman. The reason I chose this image was me and some of the co-owners of Growth Academy were discussing some strategies, etc. And we come to the conclusion that men are motivated by attractive women. <laughs> Even correctly correct. Men are motivated by attractive woman. Attractive woman. <laughs> it's like an ape wrote this sentence. Which is natural, unless George, you're not attracted to woman. Which unless I'm not, I, I, I guarantee, I, I promise you, mate, I am attracted to woman. I get all the woman. Which is perfectly fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Our guy here, he's, he supports the LGBTQ community. Our ancestors in the 1800s, whenever it was, they were going through things like the Black Plague. In the 1800s, when they were going through things like the Black Plague. <laughs> Once again, you have modelled up my words. No, no, I haven't. You said those words. Lee said in the 1800s. Or, or whenever, whenever it was, it was that the Black Plague happened. Yeah, well, like it's you know you weren't even close. That's like saying in the 1200s or whenever the dinosaurs were roaming the earth. Why do you dream? Because I love my family. <laughs> There's not really much to say here. I'm sure everyone can see what is wrong with this. What? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm in I'm in the wrong here, guys. <laughs> it's just, I, I think the main funny thing is how aggressive he is with his TikToks. So he'll just be like, why do I train for my family? <laughs> Come on, tell me that's not funny. Tell me this isn't funny. Because I love my family. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh even now. Come on. I'm not sure what's going on with you and your family, George, but I hope everything is okay. I mean, yeah, it's all fine. Thank you, man. But it's just, it was just, it's just funny. Come on, it's funny. You, 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 surely you have to admit it yourself. That is funny. Maybe that makes you feel a bit uncomfortable. So you want to make it seem stupid. I mean, I... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just a funny TikTok. Like, okay, I'm sorry if I upset you, man. I'm sorry. You wake up at six to work. What? So you get three hours of... No, you do not. Stop bullshit. You do not get three hours of sleep a night. Once again, you have completely avoided the purpose of the video. No, I haven't. What, what do you mean I've avoided the purpose? Let's watch it again. You stay up till three in the morning working. You wake up at six. 
How is there enough a way to perceive this? When you go to sleep, you should fall asleep in an instant yeah. because you're so tired from the work that you've been doing. Yeah, don't enjoy your life. Just work. Just constantly work. No rest. Rest is for the week. Wake up. Three hours sleep. Work. Don't bother eating. Just drink fuel. Just to clarify myself and a lot of other people on this journey, we do not just do it for ourselves. There are many reasons that we do it. Also, if you're ambitious and purposeful, you will enjoy enjoy making progress yeah. like how you enjoy progressing in a video game yeah you know what i get that i get that but come on tell me it isn't fun tell me his tiktoks aren't funny he just puts them across in such a funny way also another point i'm just not a fan of like hustle culture because it just promotes burnout eventually right like if you're working all day every day you are going to burn out that is just a fact but i don't have any problem if you want to do it i'm just saying like i don't know I, i'm not a fan of like hustle culture in general so if you're the kind of guy that sets his goals beyond the fucking moon the kind of guy that believes he could literally be the greatest you're going to be incredibly ambitious you're going to work 24 7 i also did some research okay. i learned this from andrew huberman and ambition is actually linked to testosterone so the more yeah testosterone right. you have the more ambitious you generally are i mean i don't know anything about that but okay sure why not i'm assuming george you're not a very ambitious guy <laughs> What do you mean? Is he is he trying to insult my testosterone? Are you trying to insult my testosterone, my friends? What do you mean I'm not very ambitious? Let's, 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 let's hear him out. But then again, you make YouTube. You've been successful with YouTube. So got to give credit where credit's due. But you don't seem to do anything else. I mean, I do. I just don't sit online and talk about it all the time. I do have other things going on outside of YouTube. But also, I upload like... I mean, recently I haven't been. But I upload like every day, man. Come on. Someone creates a TV program. Yeah. You're allowing the creator of that tv program to take your time away uh, yeah, uh, bastards the point of this is that being successful is all around a greater life than not being that oh no enjoy your life live your life be happy so that that becomes normalized well i mean yeah i feel i feel so you're waffling a little bit here but i think what he's trying to get at is like you shouldn't watch netflix you should just use that time to work or go gym or, or, or do something like that and I, I don't know i don't agree with that i think i feel as though like if you work all day you know you work your eight hours or whatever and you come home you just want to relax you just want to watch tv that's perfectly fine and that shouldn't be like you know looked down upon because you know like once i'm done with like my work for the day if you can even call this work there's nothing more i love than just sitting down putting tv on watching a bit of criminal minds oh it's bliss they do not have to put in the work they don't have to be uncomfortable etc to upgrade and improve well, i mean look not everyone wants to be you know joe rogan clip uploader man and get a million bajillion views from nice little bite-sized chunks of the joe rogan show i think it's perfectly okay to just you know want a normal life you know make a decent amount of money and chill in the evening spend time with loved ones you watch a bit of tv play a bit of video games well that's perfectly fine and if anything should be encouraged because it helps stop burnout you don't trade in any way whatsoever there's four billion men that could potentially have you <laughs> what is it they're all gonna fucking come at me assassin's creed style like one at a time and i gotta fight them up no 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 like honestly right i feel so it's very easy to avoid a physical fight like, either you get beaten up or or maybe go to jail for beating someone up like there's not there's no good outcome from yeah, i i stand by that it is much easier to defuse a situation than get in a fight with someone in in most situations unless they're trying to mug you maybe but even then they have like they'll, they'll probably have like a knife or something then you can't really do anything there you might as well just give them what you got if you actually do some research you'll actually find out that criminals pick their victims based off the way they move right if you look vulnerable they'll go for you <laughs> Someone tried to mug me once, but he didn't have anything on him. He didn't have like a knife or anything. So I just sort of laughed at him and he left. This other time I got, I got my phone nicked in Barcelona. I just got pickpocketed by like four guys. It was just me and my other mate and <laughs> they're walking off and I re realized like they've taken my phone. So I shout across the road, Oi! Give him my fucking phone back. And he turns around and just gives it back to me. But yeah, that was just a little fun story. I forgot where I was, but yeah, that was that's a story. Stories of how I've been mugged. So I, I, I've realized something really, really interesting in my adult life. People will, in like nightclubs and stuff, if people are looking to start like drunken fights or whatever, they will typically go for like bigger people, like taller, hencher, whatever. Because there is no glory in beating up a, a five foot six skinny guy. There is absolutely no glory in that. So people will typically pick on someone who's a little bit built or maybe a bit taller or wide or whatever and a lot of you guys that don't train or are out of shape tend to assume that guys that train are aggressive and i assume you do this so that you do not have to train no i just 
I just can't be asked, mate. Like I'm not, I'm not getting mad. I don't get mad at people who want to go gym. If you want to go gym and get massive, fair enough. I, I, I got nothing against you. Obviously, why would I? It sounds to me like you're making things up in your own head, such as the you diffused many situation scenarios. Well, I mean, I'm not lying. I haven't diffused many scenarios, but I've had like people drunkenly try and start fights with me. I had that guy try and mug me once. If you don't believe me, you can ask. I'm Alex. He was there. But yes, I have diffused. I haven't just made these up. I'm not like half a fucking joke. I haven't just made these things up next time you make a hate vid i would recommend you make some valid points it wasn't even really it wasn't a hate vid like i was just laughing at your tiktok because okay come on look at it objectively it is very very funny anyway i'm gonna leave it there for today's video obviously don't send hate over to this guy it's just unneeded we just have different perspectives on things and that's fine you know that's totally fine he doesn't deserve any hate or whatever so please don't do that i just wanted to make this video because um frankly i had nothing else to, to record today uh buy my Buy my plush. Oh, sorry, I forgot the marketing tactic. <laughs> Buy it now!